How's it going guys? Today we're going to be going over another leak code question. Today our question is from Google and it's called repeated DNA subsequences. Alright guys, today our question is called DNA repeated subsequences. Again, it's a question that's being asked by Google right now. And our problem description says, all DNA is composed of a series of nucleotides abbreviated A, C, G, and T. For example, if we're given this string, A, C, G, A, A, T, T, C, C, G, again, I feel like I'm taking some sort of eye exam. Uh, it tells us when studying DNA, it is sometimes useful to identify repeated subsequences within the DNA. Write a function to find all the 10 letter long subsequences or substrings that occur more than once in a DNA molecule. Okay, great. So if that doesn't really make sense, let's just walk through this example quickly. If we're given the input string S, and this is our string right here of a bunch of A's, C's, T's, and G's, we'd actually return a, a list of strings that contain these two substrings. And the reason for that is if we actually look at this substring, it occurs more than once, right? So we can see that it occurs here in the first 10 characters, and then somewhere further along here, it occurs a second time. And so because it's occurring at least twice, we want to add it to our result. Similarly, with this substring, we can see that it occurs here, and then the second time it occurs, it occurs here. Great, so basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to walk through this string, get 10 characters at a time, and remember if any 10 characters, um, any 10 character strings or substrings, I should say, occur more than once. And if they do, we just want to throw them into our return uh, array list, basically. So how are we going to do this? Well, it's two different things we're talking about, right? The first thing is actually gathering substrings of length 10, and the second thing is remembering whether or not they've occurred, and if so, how many times sort of a thing. Great, so the first thing is just simply, we could use like a built-in Java uh, function called substring and basically generate substrings of uh, size 10 constantly and just slowly move forward through the string that way. And for every one of the strings, we just need to know whether or not it's occurred. And that's as simple as basically building a hash map. And so we could just take a hash map or a hash set. We'll just use a hash map here. And for every single substring we generate, we'll take that string and we'll make sure that we record that we've seen it. And then if it ever appears again, we could just ask our hash map quickly, is it in there? And if it is, great. Then we'll just add it to our result set. So hopefully that makes sense. It's not a super complicated problem. Let's start walking through our code. And I think we will be all set. So the first thing we want to do basically is just make a return element, right? So we're just going to say list of strings. And what is this going to be? Well, it's going to be a repeated subsequences. So I'm going to call it repeated subsequences. And this is going to be a new array list. Okay, what else do we need? Well, now we need our hash map or our map, right? So we could say map from string to integer. And again, this is basically going to record how many different times each substring of 10 characters has occurred, which is why we have a mapping from a string to an integer. And we're just gonna call this scene because it's recording how many times we've seen each of these substrings, and this will be a new hash map. Awesome. And so now this is the interesting part, right? Now we need to actually start doing more of our logic. So we're just gonna have an integer i that's gonna start at zero initially. And so now the idea here is that we wanna basically generate substrings of length 10. So what I'm gonna say is wow, i plus 10, is less than or equal to s.length, right? So we haven't actually walked through the entirety of the string, right? Well, i is uh, not 10 spaces away from the end of the string. We need to keep generating our 10 character substrings. And once we're actually here, we can generate a substring. So we could say uh, string, and we'll call this subsequence equals s.substring, and this is gonna be from i up to i plus 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 10. And so what that's really saying is we're gonna increment i every single time we hit this line, and we're also gonna add 10 to it, so we're taking a substring of s from the ith character up to the i plus 10 character. Great, so now we'll actually have our substring. So now what we need to do is we basically need to record the fact that we've seen it in our scene hash map. So we could say scene.put, and let's put our subsequence with scene.get or default scene comma zero plus one. So what this is going to do is basically just going to condense our logic for uh, incrementing the count of subsequence. So we're going to say, let's put our subsequence with a count of whatever it currently has by trying to get scene. And if that doesn't actually exist yet, we're just going to return zero and then add one to it. 
So if we actually have seen it before, we're gonna grab whatever count we have for it currently and add one to it. And if we haven't, we're gonna say, okay, put it with a count of zero plus one, which will, which will record the fact that we've only seen it once. Great, so now that we've recorded having seen this substring, all we need to do is know if it's a repeated substring, right? So that's as simple as saying if scene.get subsequence is equal to two, then we can say repeated subsequences dot add or subsequence. Great, and so the reason why I'm just saying two is because we actually don't want duplicates in our repeated substrings. And so by saying if it's strictly equal to two and as opposed to something like greater than one, um, we're gonna make sure that we only add the subsequence the second time that we run into it, not the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time, so on and so forth. And so now once this loop breaks, we actually will have walked through the entire string all the way to the end, generating subsequences of 10 characters and checking if they've been repeated. So all we should have to do is return our repeated subsequences. Okay, so now let's quickly talk about our runtime. Our runtime, we're definitely going through the entire string, right? So we could say that that's O of N. Um, and then the other little thing to take note of is we're using a substring function here. There's probably a way to do this with a string builder so you don't have to constantly rebuild a substring um, because right, every single time you only really need to add the next character and delete the first character. Um, but you could still say that this is O of N because in our problem here, it's strictly 10 letter long sequences. And what that tells us is that that's a constant, right? So it'd be a different story if this problem was asking for um, subsequences of M, because then we would say this is M times N, but in this case, we could still get away with saying it's O of N, where N is just the number of characters in the string. And similarly, our memory, memory complexity is also gonna be O of N as well, um, because basically we could have I guess it's a little bit more complicated than that because it's not necessarily the characters in the string, but it's about O of N as well, I would say. Uh, but basically we're gonna have less than N uh, <laughs> substrings to put in our hash map just because we can't have, like not each character can be put in because we need subsequences of 10. So do with that what you will. <laughs> um, now let's run this code and make sure that it works. Oh, I accidentally put scene, but what I really meant to say is subsequence. <laughs> so scene, I get our default subsequence zero plus one. So now let's run this code, make sure that it works. Awesome, and it does. So guys, that's how to solve repeated DNA subsequences in Java. Again, it's a question that's being asked by Google right now. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, <laughs> do me a favor and leave the video a like and subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you guys next time.